Hi everyone! I know it's been a long time since I've seen you, but I was having a whole lot of technical difficulties where, like, I would record a video and it wouldn't show up on my camera, so, like, I went through all this stuff, I used a bunch of different cameras, and... Yeah, but anyways, I got it all figured out because I got a new SIM card, which is, like, so duh. Like, why didn't I think of that in the first place? And it shows up on my computer, so... I have a haul for you because I've done a lot of shopping this past like month and a half because of all the sales and stuff so uh I'll just start with these okay I got two of the Maybelline color tattoo things which everybody has been talking about like non-stop so I got them in the colors Audacious Asphalt and Tough as Taupe. So, Tough as Taupe looks like that. It's like just a really nice taupe color. I'll swatch it. And that's what it looks like on my hand. Like, it is a true taupe color. It looks a little more purpley than I would expect, but I mean, whatever. And then I got, and then Audacious Asphalt. looks like that like a gray it's like a sparkly gray so yeah these are actually really really nice I like them a lot and then I got the Too Faced shadow insurance just the um, regular one because I was running out of eyeshadow primer because I just had the little sample size Urban Decay one so I got this and then I picked up a NYC Blushable Cream Stick in Plaza Pink. This is a really nice color. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like right there. Um, in the winter, like it's really nice to use cream products on your skin rather than just like a bunch of powders because um, your skin will get like dry no matter what kind of skin you have. Like I have dry skin and it gets even more dry, but yeah. Um... I picked up this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, which everybody talks about, like, um, Tiffany D talks about it a lot, and it's, like, a really nice concealer, but I thought I picked up the one for fair skin, but I got medium, you can see that, but, so it's too dark for me right now, but hopefully in the summer I can be able to, I'll be able to wear this, so, yeah, because I really wanted this, but, um, then I got the L'Oreal Linear Intense um, Liquid Eyeliner in Carbon Black because, once again, everybody talks about this, especially Tiffany D. So yeah, that was the um, brush tip. And yeah, pretty dark. I understand why everybody loves the Carbon Black, so that's like really freaking dark. Um, and then the last thing I got from the drugstore was my volume, I mean my Maybelline Falsies Flared Mascara. Because I don't like just the regular Falsies, I like the Flared. And this is basically what I wear all the time. So, mine is like running out, I have like two more uses out of it, and then moving on to this. And then me and my mom, um met with an American consultant and I needed a new concealer and this was like after I bought this I mean this was yeah after I bought this so because this was too dark so I got the Mary Kay concealer in ivory 2 and then I got the Mary Kay time wise luminous wear liquid foundation and there was one for matte skin which was like I don't know what it was called, but, um, and then they have this luminous wear one, and I got this one because I have dry skin, and to be all luminous, not matte, because it'll make it even more dry, so, yeah, I got this, and then this is in Ivory 4, and then my favorite thing that I pretty much got out of all this is the Mary Kay Filigree Eye and Cheek Powder, and this was a limited edition, but, I mean, if you could go to your Mary Kay consultant, I'm sure they have some left. But, oh, and this is in Splendid. But this is what it looks like. It has a really, really, really nice um, 
pink cheek color and then a lavender um, eye color, a burgundy, and like a um, base. This is gorgeous. I am wearing the pink on my cheeks, which you probably can't tell because of this lighting. Sorry about that. I'm going to fix it. I rearranged my room, um, put up my paintings and stuff, so yeah. But um, I'm wearing the burgundy in my crease and the um, beige color all over my lid. Yeah, this was definitely like my favorite thing. And then I got the Mary Kay Nourishine Lip Gloss in Melon Sorbet because they reformulated their lip glosses. So this was only $5 where originally it was like $13. So I got this and it's just a really nice coral color. It probably looks a lot more pink on camera but it's corally and I like it. And then I stopped by MAC and got two lipsticks. I got Hot Tahiti, which is this red color, and if I can swatch it, that's, that's what it looks like. It's more of a toned down red than a bright red. I really like it though. And then I got Cream Cup, which everybody has raved about, so I decided to get it. And that's it right there, that pink. So yeah, I really like that. I got the um, Interior Life palette, but I depotted it already, so it's in my new palette, which I ordered from MAC. Nice, sleek. Um, so yeah, this is it. Um, I got two more new shadows like before I ordered this palette, so I got... Um, whoops. A uh, sable with frost, and it's like a, I don't know, like a reddish um, brown. And then I got Cory, which is right here, and it's matte. And then I got um, whatever this color is in the interior palette, interior life palette. Um, oh, this is interior life. It is a lavender, and it's satin finish. And then there's Bruised Sky, which is like a gray-blue, and um, it's a deluxe pearl finish. And then I got Status, which I had a really hard time depotting, but it's a light pink and it's matte. And then I got Heather Bells, I think that's how you say it. And it's like a charcoal and it's a satin finish, and so I've named all the other ones. Retrospect and Parfait more. Pretty sure that is all for my haul. Um, like I said, um, I'm sorry I haven't filmed more. I had a bunch of technical difficulties, but now that I have everything situated and yeah, I will have a bunch of more videos up, tutorials, everything. If you want a tutorial using the um, Interior Life palette, just uh, leave it in the comments because I will definitely do that for you guys. Um, yeah. So, I don't want you guys to think that we just disappeared off the face of the earth. Yeah, because I still run the, like, I've been doing the blog. Oh, and I wanted to show you my new piercings. Um, I posted, a, there's a blog post about this, but, um, yeah, those, these are the new piercings, that one and that one. Um, it's going to be a bar going through there, the industrial bar, so, yeah. I have to keep this for 8 to 10 weeks, and I got it about 3 weeks ago, I want to say. I think it was December 12th, so, yeah, almost a month. So, yeah, that was my haul, and um, I hope you guys like it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!